Now to the latest in Lebanon, where rescue workers are searching for survivors at this blast site in Beirut. Tuesday's warehouse explosion killed 150 people and injured thousands. This is a tragedy that has rocked the country, already facing economic challenges because of coronavirus. I spoke with the director of Mercy Corps, who was in Beirut at the time of the explosion. Here's what he remembers. What we at first thought was an earthquake. As I stand up to walk towards the door, is when the blast of the explosion reaches me. And I realize that this is something much bigger than an earthquake. Rafael Velasquez looked out the window and saw the massive pillar of smoke. He quickly went into crisis mode. He's the director for Mercy Corps in Lebanon. Rafael started calling his teammates across the city to make sure everyone was safe and accounted for, then immediately started making plans to see what they could do to help the rescue operations. The streets were full of broken glass and debris. The uh, hospitals were at full capacity. People were being attended in parking lots. Thousands hurt and the death toll continues to grow each day. This explosion could not have come at a worse time, when the country and its people are already dealing with economic hardships. 51% of people living in Lebanon rely as a livelihood on small businesses and enterprises. All of these businesses, because of the economic crisis, don't have insurance, don't have savings, and then get hit with these massive explosions. Within an instant, uh, people's lives has changed. So Portlander Samir Rod has deep ties to Beirut and anxiously watched the chaos. He's lived and worked in the region and has family and friends there. So when he heard what happened, he immediately tried to reach them. You're just scared to make sure everybody's okay. And yeah, I mean, the first 10 minutes to an hour is, um, is, is truly scary. Rod says, fortunately, his loved ones are okay. But he says this is just the latest in a long line of difficulties for the Lebanese people. I think it's important to highlight that you can go into a household and speak with a 20-year-old, a 40-year-old, a 60-year-old, and an 80-year-old, and they will be able to tell you about a different physical or psychological trauma that has affected their life in some cases, multiple. That's powerful. Samir used to work for Mercy Corps and his wife still does. They actually met in Beirut. He says they wanna go back to help just as soon as it's safe, but between the blast and COVID-19, that could be a while. One other thing this morning, both Samir and Raphael wanted us to pass along ways that you could donate if you'd like to help those affected by the blast. Mercy Corps is always a good option. And Samir also mentioned the Lebanese Red Cross. Both great organizations.